Logarithms are exponents. Just keep telling yourself that. So it sets up like this. B is the base. E is the exponent equals some target number. It could be big or small. And that's the same thing as log base B of some target number equals the exponent. So the logarithm is the exponent. Memorize these two and you guys should be okay. Let's go do some. Numero uno. Here's number one. So the base is three, the exponent is the y, and x is the target number, okay? There's the logarithmic form, there's the standard form. Number two, just as easy, the base is three, the target number is nine, and the exponent is two, right? So the log base three of nine is two. These are pretty basic, like I told you. So the base is five, the exponent is what? It's the y, right? Don't let the which side it's on confuse you. So 5 to the y equals x. This one's a little bit different. You have to solve for a variable, right? Solve for y. Just simply rewrite the logarithmic form back into the standard form, right? So the base is 4 raised to the y equals 64. So 4 raised to the 3 is 64, right? So that's the answer there. Next one. So you have a negative base number, okay? We do not have negative base numbers. We don't have negative log numbers either. So the base of any log cannot be a negative number. The target number cannot be a negative number. So what this is saying is, if we put this back into the standard form, right? It's base 5 of y equals a negative number. So that's not happening here, man. So this is undefined. So once you switch the logarithm form into the standard form, it becomes just regular algebra problem, right? So if you took 3, the base, and raised it to 2, the exponent, that's 9, that's got to equal this target number, right? Bam, right there. So you just, you know, 9 equals 4x minus 7, plus 7 plus 7. You got 16 equals 4x, x has to equal 4. This one's a little bit harder, as they all are, right? We always start off with easy cheesy, and then it just step by step, we leave things out or we switch things around just to make you learn the process a little bit stronger. So again, I'm going to put this back into standard form. The base is 6 raised to the y has to equal the target number, 1 over 36. 1 over 36 is 6 to the negative 2, right? Don't forget how to do that. So the bases are the same, therefore y has to equal negative 2. This one's a different one too, because now you got to solve for the base. The base is the unknown, the x. But again, we're just going to rewrite this in standard format. So the base is x raised to the fifth power has to equal 0. There's only one number I know of, and that has to be x has to be 0. But very important... There's really no such thing as a log with base zero. If you think about it, zero really doesn't care about exponents, and neither does the number one. So those are the two magic numbers that exponents really don't affect. Here's a real one. So the base is x. So x raised to the two has to equal 49. You take the square to both sides, you're going to get positive seven, negative sevens. But remember, logs don't have negative bases, so x has to equal seven here. Okay, last regular logarithm into standard form, vice versa. So base 17 raised to the y equals 17. So remember, when a variable or a number does not carry an exponent, it is always the number 1, exponent of number 1. It is the phantom exponents everywhere. So y has to equal 1 here. MGZ out. <laughs>